phone, so you'll get the Contra 3 and the Super C. Ricky, now it's, almost, right. now it's kind of suspicious. Right. Why does he want it so bad? I don't know. What like, does he know about it? You know the pink Kirby I got today? I'm yeah. rolling deep in the pink, dude. Person. And after I like literally right after I answered this guy like he Facebook me right away He's like hey you want some games? I'm like only if you really want to please send us a bunch of games I can't believe you take stuff from the audience. It's messed up. I didn't He really wanted to it's so disrespectful <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's been way too long since Ricky and I have been game hunting together kind of freaking out it's been like a month so really the only way to kick things off about doing this again is well doing what we did in the beginning going to del taco before we game hunt come on man welcome to del taco come on home of the freshest tacos in the californias what's wrong with you did you hear this what and no offense but who's mexican who doesn't like guacamole i mean who doesn't like guacamole in general but you got, you're also... Just the name, I guess. Guac. Just like a... <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that sound like it? Oh, it's kind of bad. oh, how I've missed tacos at 6 in the morning. What have I done? I apologize, Del Taco. We won't do that ever again. But if there's one thing I love most about going game hunting in the morning and going to these swap meets and flea markets is, well, people like don't push my mother. And now we have this lady to add to the ranks of an awesome swap meet friend. <laughs> Hit me, baby, one more time! Hello, everybody. Hello. It's me, Aaron Stapish. And Ricky Avila. And today, we, we must apologize for how long it's been for an episode. It's been too long. We've been wanting to go, but Ricky said he doesn't really like video game hunting anymore, so we haven't been going as much. Huh? Just kidding, that's not true. But um, I'm excited. Ricky, oh. what are you looking forward to getting today? What you're going to get. We're not even going to say what we want, because we're going to find whatever we desire this time. Well... You can't say wild man. I already have it. What the heck? You brought it with you? <laughs> I know you got it. I know you brought it with you. Yeah, I did a trade with Jesse DeLuca for it. That's pretty funny, actually. Well, what I already knew he was going to say Wild Gun, so I was like, I'm going to keep my back pocket. What do you want today? For reals? Yeah. Bonks on the NES. I got what I'm needing. We'll take, we'll take it easy. Oh. It's been too long, I had to do that. How did I miss? <laughs> I always love the covers on romantic novels. They're like the most like muscular men ever with their shirts off. But always with a nice high belt too. That's a good call. What's the movie with uh, Tommy Boy? I remember the scene where that one dude takes off their... Why am I explaining the guy taking off his shirt? That's... Hi Bert. There you guys are. Look what I just found. Hey. Along with our friend Michael Bert. Mike, say hi today. Hello Look again. Look get away. Mike, can you explain Thanks, this? Mike. I just picked this up. Can you explain what this is? Everybody, and if you don't know, just pretend. Um, it's some guy on a horse. Who? That's probably uh, Zelda, right? I think that's Link, the horse. I think you're right. Yeah. This is kind of cool, actually. That's really cool. Are you kidding me? Do you want it? Well, maybe we can pick it up. It's actually pretty cool. Get it. This place is usually like a dollar for everything. So. so Ricky and I see a lot of PS1s out here at the Swami. Almost too much. They're kind of a dime a dozen, and we don't really need to look at them because we see them every freaking five minutes. But 
we run across an attachment for the PS1 that I've personally never seen. I've seen some random things like the adapter to make it a TV screen, but never this. Right. <laughs> so this might not be completely accurate, but my guess, I've never seen this before out here, but this is my guess that you connect this and it says movie card. I'm guessing that you can play DVDs off this with that. Um, let me know if you guys know. It's by Gammers, not Gamers. Uh, not much to say about it. Let me know, guys. The model is PSX003. Great, I'm going to be telling everyone it's going to be like something super rare. This? You don't know what this is? This is uh, it's an antenna. It's like a first person shooter tank game. The diamond one? Yeah, that one. Uh, it's uncommon though, that's for sure. It is very uncommon. Ah. Rick, you need any cases, Ricky? If you had Mario Kart, I'd totally buy it. Rick, you need any cases, Ricky? <laughs> oh, Nickelodeon Theater. This is uncommon. This was actually, um, in this you could read things like about uh, the nickel to the children and dime and the adults. They would talk about their wives. Um, really cool. This was my favorite page. It was by Cal Micah, 1963. Here, autographed it here. The IMP Theater, uh, the cookest spot in town. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our good buddy Junior over at the swap meet has some stickers that I like and. Yeah, I won't lie, there's one I really like a lot and I want to put on my car, and I debated it for a while because, well, it's a bright pink sticker, but I'm going for it. I'm confident in my manliness. Couldn't resist. Pink ball of goodness, my favorite Smash Brothers character, so, you know, when you're pink and proud, just go for it. Dude, I've made way too many references on myself this episode. This is not looking good. I remember the scene where that one dude takes off the... Why am I explaining that I take out a shirt? Anyone else here played with one of these? The Max controllers have like the weirdest D-pad ever. They're like roundy and analog, but there's no stick that sticks out, so. But they're so small. Like if you have big hands, if you have like big meat hands, there's no way you're gonna enjoy playing with what them. What are they? What is it about guys with big hands? They like big controllers. Sorry. Why you got? Why you? Why you gotta be perverted, bra? You wear bra? Yeah. I wear bra. I think I played this. You need this game. No, I think it's pretty fun. Fighting force. Slave zero. Do you have it? No. Oh, a lot of these. How much are the games? We now come by a guy that has a ton of Dreamcast stuff. Now, he doesn't have the cases for these games, but he does have the manuals and the CDs. And well, the CDs are pretty much in immaculate condition. Normally, when people have games like this all put together really nicely and in a nice packaging and all clean, especially CDs that aren't scratched, they're normally gonna ask a pretty high price. So we take a little jab with this guy and uh, see what he's asking. I don't know. How much are the... How, How much, much are the, the CD games? Yeah, come on back. Uh, uh, uh. How much are the CDs? Uh, CD, uh, $2. So I was about to buy all these Dreamcast games, but when the guy told me it was two bucks each, I was like, all right, cool, cool. Uh, CD, uh, $2. Finally, I grab three that I really want. I go to, go to, I go to pay, and he's, he decides it's three each now. So I just dropped the games and left them there. They were, Boom. They were no cases, so. Yeah. You know, it's, no hard, cases, it's hard to so. make our case to for that price. It's hard to make a case with no case. case. You like my dancing? You like it, I said? It's pretty good. We were just buying some pogs and slammers, which we haven't bought in since junior high, what is it, elementary school? Elementary school. But it's so funny, we gave a shout out the other day to a channel called the Sega Channel. Freaking the Sega Channel, stupid I'm Ricky! Just kidding. Look what type of slammer I just bought. Why the is, Sega. Why crazy? The Sega Channel Slammer. Mega Sega Channel Slammer. Mega Sega Channel Slammer with that Sega little guy logo they used to have on their logo. So that's pretty awesome. Pogs are back. Are we gonna bring Pogs back right now by the power of us? Pogs. Hey, you know what? They started making square Pogs. I heard nowadays. Okay, I got so they're starting to come back. I got three. Oh. 
All right, so I'm not gonna lie. Ricky and I have been looking for pogs for quite a while now. I don't know why, but we've been wanting them. And to find Sega ones, that's really cool. But something I don't really look for much at the swap meet is clothes, because it's kind of gross, to be honest. But when you run across gaming shirts that are new for five bucks, you can't really say no. I think large would be fine. I'll shrink it. Is that cool? Okay, cool. Sweet. Got to keep it real with the Mario's. Literally, keep it real because it says keeping it real. So I'm going for it, dude. I'm gonna have to shrink it, but it's all right, you know. I'm, I'm ready for this. I was born ready for Mario. I need a Mario chat. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Kind of, it's like the hollow. Because you actually had the drum beat. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's like the hollow echo sound. Yeah. Too. Like echo the dolphin. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something. So as you see, Ricky and I are going dumpster diving now. That's something we don't really do often, but we've seen OK Chief score quite a bit, and last time we failed. Today, will it be any different? Are we gonna do good? Let's see. Any game stuff in there, Ricky? No, but I know we can get free Chipotle. Free Chipotle in there? <laughs> How fresh are the burritos? I'd say about maybe like two hours. Another guy left. No, I get, dude. When I heard me, like, stuck off. What the heck? I don't get this. You guys in your dumpster diving. How do you guys always find stuff? What the heck? We find stuff, too. Chipotle. Yeah! And ice cream. If I was hungry. GameStop. Everybody go out! GameStop locations. <laughs> A dumpster diving is the practice of sitting through commercial residential waste to find find items that have been discarded by their owners. Well, thanks. We sound like freaking homeless people now. Thanks a lot, lady. <laughs> Educated homeless people. Yeah. <laughs> you should you should see the picture too. It's like a dude, like a like a homeless dude. Is going it okay, the... chief? <laughs> it could be. So obviously with zero luck in the dumpsters, Ricky and I want to continue trying because we didn't get too much at the swap meets besides some pogs and a couple shirts. So now we head on over to a thrift store, one that we never go to is Salvation Army. Now I've seen a lot of people get some really good stuff from these stores, but we've honestly never had any luck at all with Salvation Army, normally just Goodwill. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway, so let's go. So far I don't see any like DVDs or anything like that at all. I think, uh... There's nothing. A lot of books. Sure. sure. You like to read? See these skills, dog? I told you. Do you see these skills right now? I could like walk around the swap me. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a drive through KFC or something? The flip? Yeah, the heck is a dumpster. Oh, oh, it's locked. Well, let me just see if it's even in there. If it is, I'll get it. If there's games in there, I'll get it. Cha, cha. <laughs> yes. Whoa. There, there. I don't know what this thing is. It's too, it's too heavy though. It's huge in metal. Is it a display or a display? Look, Ricky. Yes, there is. I can't even see what I'm filming. <laughs> I can't believe you just touched that. Yeah, me neither. It's the 5-0! Gross. All right, I think it's time for Ricky and I to call it quits with dumpster diving in our area. We've never found anything but a bunch of junk. And I guess now it's time to go to one more thrift store before we go home and hope we get some sort of luck. Time to go to Savers. Here we are. This is brand new in our area. We haven't had a Savers in years. 
probably 10 years since the Saber has been around here. They just opened it up. So that could be a good thing or a bad thing for video games. But also, we don't know if they're okay with filming, so we'll probably keep it on video. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Two Game Boy Advances for one eighty nine each. All right, we're gonna start your exam now. You might feel a little pressure. Okay. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Well, it looks like Frogger Advance. Now let's keep moving. Doctor. Oh, that's fine, nurse. That's just Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones. Now, moving along. Yeah. Hey, is that Spider-Man? Game, Game Boy Advance. Advance. More games. More fun. Ready for everyone. Have you seen my shorts? Buck nine ninety. Look, this one comes with a game. I just can't tell what it is. Do they both have games? Freaking the hot pink. See through. Let me see. Oh, don't even know what game's in there. You never know, Ricky. I already saw it. What was it? Namco. Hey, hey, Namco. Is it the Namco Museum stuff? Yeah. Those are fun. Oh, freaking Ricky. This is pretty sick. It's Rockman. It's a 24-piece colored pencil. It's weird. It's sponsored by Mitsubishi, but Rockman obviously is not the North American version of Mega Man, but I don't know what this back thing is, but for $3.99, it's 10 This is pretty sweet. So, I'm actually kind of excited for this. i never seen this Uncommon? at all. Uncommon? Okay, game chasers. Yes. Uncommon, I hope. Still, I'm going to punch Ricky for finding all that. Actually, I just wanted this pink one, to be honest. For $1.99. F you, dude. Did you just hear what he said? It was right in front of him. I didn't see it. Alright, so I won't lie, for some reason lately I've really been wanting a pink Game Boy Advance. I think I saw somebody post one on Instagram, and since then I've been having a craving towards getting one. So now that Ricky nabbed one for $1.99, I must get it from him. Not off money, but off a trade, so let's see what we can haggle with, Ricky. What, what else can I give you for that pink Advance? It, it might not be stuff that I have here today, but what do I have in my house that you want? You know, you got a lot of stuff. Brixton? <laughs> My son! Alright. You must really I'll want to. I'll trade you something, but Lewis, you can't get mad at this because it's keeping in the crew. Lewis gave me a uh, Contra the Alien Wars on Game Boy. Oh, also, dude. Hi, guys. Seriously. To me. The Game Boy Advance was a nice awesome. man. Operation C in Alien Wars. I saw it, I was like, every time I go there, this guy, every time he's the guy freaking out, he's like, oh, like, always oh, oh, gives us stuff. I'll pull it I want to hug him. Thanks. I also have Super C, and they're both mint. <laughs> Man, you really want this? Thing. Yeah, it's sexy. <laughs> uh, you'll get the uh, from the you'll get the Contra Three and the Super C. Ricky, now it's right. almost, now it's kind of suspicious. Right. Why does he want it so bad? I don't know. What like, does he know about it? You know the pink Kirby I got today? I'm yeah. rolling deep in the pink, dude. Ow! Some just bit my chest like a bug. <laughs> That's weird. There you go. Yes. Don't Google this. ended up going pretty well. We got a few little things we didn't show you guys because we didn't feel the need to. They were nothing too big. So we had a good time. And besides that, it felt so good to be back at the Swami. It had been like a month, like I said, that's way too long and I don't want to do that again. So soon enough, we're going to be right back here before a month. We want to get these going again. So thanks for watching guys and hope you enjoyed the NES Pursuit. What do you mean? Purchase is about telling you, dude. I'm, I, I was he said playing. Me. I was Luigi. I was playing telling. Speaking of Mario Kart, we were just looking at all the Luigi death stairs this morning. There's some pretty good ones. My favorite's this one with this rivalry between Mario and Luigi. Classic. Good animation. And Mario rolls by and Luigi just chucks a bomb in and says, I'm a number one mother. Number one mother. <laughs> One night with my wife.